Jackie Robinson Day right around the corner, and the museum has a new partnership. Later this afternoon, the Jackie Robinson Museum, in tandem with City, the Mets, and New York City's Department of Youth and Community Development, will host a panel on the importance of financial literacy for roughly 80 students. And then after the panel, students will head to the Jackie Robinson Museum for an interactive tour. Joining us now is Della Britton, the president and CEO of the Jackie Robinson Museum. Thanks so much for making the time. You have a busy day Thank ahead you. of you. Good morning, Justin. Yes, it's, you know, Jackie Robinson Day time, so we're busy this time of year. It is next week. So tell us a little bit more about this event and why you wanted to partner with the Mets in addition to City. Well, you know, we've been we've been partnering with the Mets for decades, literally. Um, the and City is one of the major city and the Mets are major donors to the Jackie Robinson Museum. So both of those institutions help the museum uh, come to fruition. But uh, DYCD is something that is close to our hearts. It's an organization um, run by the city that reaches out to community organizations, which is exactly what we're doing at the Jackie Robinson Museum. And specifically, financial literacy is one of the programs that we're offering at the museum. It's um, actually funded by uh, one of our Jackie Robinson Foundation scholar alums, college scholars, funded a program called the Hayes Institute for Financial uh, Literacy and FinTech. So this is right in our wheelhouse today. These students are a little younger than the ones that we have been mentoring for the last 50 years with our scholarship program. But at the museum, we will be reaching out to students, young people this age, to talk about financial literacy. It's one of the things Jackie Robinson was very much committed to, economic empowerment, uh, wealth building. So it is on our agenda, and today is sort of all the synergies coming, everything coming together to, uh, to uh, create this program today. We're excited. Uh, I hope these kids understand the gem that they're walking into later today. Financial literacy is so important. There's so many subjects, and I believe this month is Financial Literacy Month. So peel back the curtain of the decision behind that. You touched on it a little bit, but do you understand that, at least during our time, a lot of kids weren't getting this taught to them, so now you want to share this with them so they can advance their careers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, actually, it was almost 20 years ago, I believe, that Congress voted to have to sponsor a, a or, or enact a, uh, a financial literacy awareness day, a month, I believe is what it is. And we were plugged into that because in those days, back 20 years ago, we were very much um, developing a curriculum for our college students around financial literacy, understanding their financial aid package, understanding uh, the stock market, you know, to invest, not to invest in the market, and, and generally, um, you know, personal financial literacy. So, you know, this is something that, that I think is, is catching on not only within sort of colleges and universities, but generally in, 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 in public spaces, you know, the entrepreneurship wave, um, the tech age, everybody's got an app, everybody wants, you know, cryptocurrency is very much on the agenda it of uh, young people, especially today. So, you know, I get it. It's, it's something that we need to take seriously. And listen, I mean, economic empowerment, uh, Jackie Robinson used to say, the ballot and the buck are what are going to be very important to, to our community. So, so, you know, we take that seriously. And, um, and today is really the sort of culmination of all of those principles. And quickly, what can kids expect out of the scavenger hunt in addition to the tour later at your museum today? You know, it, it's called scavenger hunt, but the truth is it's a factual hunt. It's students going around the museum and finding out information. And today's factual scavenger hunt, if you will, will focus on those aspects of Jackie Robinson's life that dealt with economic empowerment. Few know that Jackie Robinson was co-founder of Freedom National Bank in Harlem. Not only that, even before he uh, retired from baseball, he started a housing development project. Um, the Jackie Robinson houses still exist. He then subsequently in the 60s began a construction, uh, uh, housing construction program to address the lack of adequate housing for people in, in depressed communities. Rachel Robinson, his wife, the founder of our organization, continued that construction company after his death. So then we can talk about the clothing store he had on uh, 125th Street in Harlem. He was very much plugged into the importance of economic empowerment, wealth building, hence, you know, the, the Jackie Robinson Financial Literacy and FinTech Institute. So, so we are, the people, what the students will learn today is those aspects of Jackie's life beyond baseball beyond even his civil rights work with some though. So it's going to be a fun day. It is going to be a fun day. Thank you so much for making the Thank time you. and joining us. Financial Literacy, that is Della Britton, the president of the Jackie Robinson Museum.